Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Classics Robots in Disguise Voyager Class Optimus Prime. Not a bad looking toy, I'm not going to lie. So let's set them to the side, let's look at the box. I like the box because look at this little Stumburst, uh, Starburst pattern on the back over here, you can actually look at that. And it's got this little flip for robot mode, hey, if you don't know what, there, there's a truck, that's the robot. Kind of neat, I'll show you that, it doesn't have a neat little gun like that. There's the head. Optimus has a weird trapezoidal shape. Top of the box. Robots in disguise. Has other ones. So you remember the classic line? There's Megatron, Starscream, Rodimus, Bumblebee, Astral Train. I don't have any of those. Bottom of the box, very plain. Here's the back of the box. Yeah, neat little truck. Has a little extras. And I like this because it doesn't have that many extras. And I, I truly like this box because of its simplicity. Not like a bunch of other boxes where you get like 20 pieces. Alright, just want to compare this. This is Voyager Classes from 2007, so yeah, very comparable in size. I just want to show you a side by side comparison here so you can see. Yeah, it's slightly, slightly smaller. I'm not going to transform that guy because he's hardly difficult. So as far as detailing, you get the nice little paint details. Uh, the painting isn't nearly as good as the Henke version, but you can see that you can see right through there. The cabs are actually molded in. You can see the seats molded in over there. Pretty neat a little shield on the top. The smokestacks, which are short because of safety issues. Paint not the greatest, and yeah, if you can get the Henke version, certainly do so. Not bad looking. I like the blue underneath very very solid construction for a cab everything meshes up really nicely and this is what i like about that the grill is there would have been nice if they had the little his little logo autobot logo right here and yeah the lights are all right well yeah the henke version probably nicer and also has a rub symbol it's cold out here so you're not going to be able to see it but maybe yeah, he's an autobot big surprise huh there you go here's the back so not a bad looking cab, rolls together all right, so let's go ahead and transform them. Smokestacks, shield, wow, nice beautiful vibrant red colors, even the paint apps on the top, so i just click that to the back, these are the smokestacks, we'll get that later. Clip the shield off, yeah, easy enough, you can kind of see his head, and this thing does come over here, so we'll go there, okay. So, first thing we're going to do is open up these side panels, click them to the side, very reminiscent of a few Optimi back in the day, and then we're going to, and these are our nice little ratchet joints, you can see the ratchet joints right there, click it down 90 degrees, so yeah, just easy day, we're done with that. Now let's go ahead and transform the cab, so first thing we're going to do is just split the back over here, there we go. Move that up like that, and we're going to rotate this. First, we're going to move this up. This portion is kind of weird, but it's there for a reason. All right, here we go. There's his head. Rotate it 180 degrees. All right, move this up. Got to get it out of the way. Okay, there we go. Move that up and move it. It kind of compresses, so there we go. Head right there, and there is light piping on the head. You won't be able to see it. Then just like uh, that review of Transformers United Optimus Prime that I did way back when, about a year ago or so. We'll rotate it. Just like that. Alright. Oh, and is not really connects very well, but uh, it hides the kibble really well. So you get right, right to joints on the hips. I'm going to move his little knee braces or whatever knee guards. Alright. Pull his feet down. Automatic heel spurs. So that's good. We're doing good so far. All right, let's see for what else we got for transformation. Turn the arms 90 degrees, that down, and you can see the cab right here. Rotate that down and rotate this bit back. Oh, sorry, wrong. Uh, that's what I meant to do. Let's do it on the other one because I want the yellow stripe on the front there. Same thing, rotate this 90 degrees, rotate the elbow down. And rotate this 90 degrees and the cab where you see over here just collapses oh, put the fist down and it will collapse right there so you kind of have you kind of have the cab sections here on the side so a little bit of kibble but hey the colors are really good as i mentioned before you won't see be able to see the light piping but it is light piped on the eyes 
As far as articulation, the head is on a swivel joint. It just swivels back and forth, no ball joint. Shoulder joint just rotate and it can go in and out. Single joint on the, what do you call that, elbow, but it could swivel, so it's good. Uh, no rotation on the wrist, sorry. Of course, it has this abs or ab swivel and it does swivel a little bit on the waist, so it does have good articulation there. Not bad. As I mentioned, the big ratchet joint at the hips moves around, moves up side to side. Little single jointed knee there. And it does have a thigh swivel. And of course, the big foot allows it to swivel up and down, and that's it. All right, good, good, good. Beautifully looking. I, I like the cab. I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. The robot mode looks pretty spectacular in its own sense, so I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10 too. Just hit it on the side. Big, big feet over here. Concentrate on the weapons over here. Move this to the side. Here's the little smoke stacks right here. And pretty much fold them in. Fold that out. And there we go. He has a double barreled gun. And he also has a shield like weapon, which you can use as a shield. Actually, it won't fit in there. But I tried using it as a shield. All I have to do is just separate this in two, like so and flip this portion out see this little piece over here flips out and bam yeah he can do a weld weapons if you wanted not only that ooh, there we go yeah look at that he's a beast right there look at that but not only that you can put these weapons over here on the top he's got this little whatever mount on the back here so if you wanted to put them over here yeah and he kind of, kind of, and this is difficult, I'm not going to say, there's this little slot over here. Kind of, if you push this down, it kind of gets in his arm right there. So yeah, look at that. <laughs> Loaded for bear. Let's give him with a size comparison over here. Here he is with Megatron, so definitely a deluxe size vehicle. Or sorry, not deluxe, slightly bigger. Slightly bigger than a deluxe. Here's a Voyager size, so I've already made reviews. So he's shorter than your normal Voyager, but hey, what can I say? For our classics, he's looking good. Not nearly as shiny because he's not the Japanese release, but he's looking good nonetheless. Like I mentioned, 8 out of 10 for both modes. That's all I got, YouTubers, and I'll catch you all next time.